ever tired of living paycheck to paycheck or you're constantly worried about job security? I want you to know that you're not alone. 2024 is shaping to be very challenging for many working professionals. The economy has become so unstable. Inflation is making the cost of living expenses to constantly rise. And even job security is slipping off our ends. We're not sure if we're going to have a job tomorrow. We keep hearing about organizations restructuring and restructuring people out. And for those of us that have only one stream of income, being our nine to five, it's getting even riskier to keep life the same. That is why today I want to share with you five ideas that you can start in 2024 so that you can begin to expand your financial independence and stop your reliance on your nine to five. While it's okay for you to stay as a working professional, what is not okay is for you to have one income stream because that could change in a jiffy. Now, what happens when you're out of that job? Are you able to survive for the next six months? If you're not sure, then you need to keep watching this video because one of my ideas might be the perfect fit for you. Now, imagine you waking up every day knowing fully well that you're in control of your finances and not your nine to five job. You knowing that if you lose your job today, all hell is not going to break loose. Doesn't that sound great? Of course it does. Now stay with me while we dive into the five ideas that could transform your life this year. Now, starting with the very first idea on my list is for you to figure out something you can teach. This is one of the easier side hustles that you can start while having a nine to five job. And I believe that if you watch my last video, you would have heard how I shared how one of my side hustles was teaching all things agile. Teaching something is one of the easiest things you can start because that is something that is second nature to you. It's something that you already know. And so you don't have to spend a lot of time trying to ramp up that skill set. All you have to do to get started is sharing what you know on social media platforms so that those that are interested can gravitate towards you. For myself, when I started teaching all things agile on social media, in less than a few months, I found my tribe, I found my community, those that were interested in Agile and Scrum started to follow me, started to leave me messages, sent me emails. And in a very short time, I was able to launch a product that catered to their needs. And on average, I used to bring them nothing less than $6,000 a month. Now imagine what $6,000 could do to your finances, where you're able to pay those extra bills, those extra groceries, you're able to comfortably shop for those, you're able to probably pay part of your mortgage and every other thing that might be stressing you out. It is so easy for you to get started today and social media has made it super easy. Now, I want you to think about something that you could easily teach and it could range from anything. I've seen people who teach about cooking recipes. There's nothing in this world that people are not teaching on YouTube, on social media. So I don't want you to feel like, oh, there is no need for that thing. As long as you know it, Definitely someone else needs that thing that you need and you just need to figure out, you know, how many people need that thing and you can start teaching and start earning almost immediately. So I want you to think about teaching because that is something that you don't even need capital to start. That is something that all you have to do is figure out what you know and customize that into specialized knowledge and begin to share that information with the world. So this is literally something that you can get started next week, right? Use this week to figure out what you want to talk about. Pick a platform. I love all things YouTube. So you can start from YouTube, you know, start to record yourself on your phone. You don't need to buy a camera. You know, you have a laptop, you can always edit using the free softwares on your laptop and just go on YouTube and find out how to do those things. And you can literally get started like yesterday. So there is no excuses if you're looking for that extra income and you're looking for what to do and you don't have money, then teaching something is definitely one thing I would encourage for you to start. Okay. All right. Moving on to the next thing. The second thing that you can easily start as a working professional, most especially if you have some type of saving, is for you to buy a rental property. 
Now, this is something that is so easy because if you have some type of savings, you just need to look for a property that fits within your budget and you start to get almost instant revenue. Now, let me take you back to when I bought my first rental property. This is probably sometime around eight years ago. This house was under $100,000 and all I needed to drop was less than $20,000 for my down payment. And right in that same month, I got my tenant and I started to earn income on that investment. And the amazing thing about buying a rental property is the fact that all you need to look for is your down payment. Your tenant is going to pay your mortgage and you're going to build equity on that house. Right now, as at today, this house that I bought under $100,000 is now worth over $200,000. So I have over 100% in equity in that house and I'm not even leaving there. My tenant has been paying my mortgage for all of this years and all I needed to drop was less than $20,000. So I want you to think through, you know, that money that you have in your savings account that you're trying to figure out like, okay, what should I do with it? Rental property is probably something that you want to start and don't go big, right? Don't go hard. Don't go look for, you know, the best house in the best neighborhood. Look at the location. Is there a market? Is there a demand in this location? And what house can I buy? Probably renovate a bit so that it's up to date and that's it. There are renters all over the place looking for houses because they cannot afford to buy their dream home. And remember, this is not your own dream home. It's a rental property. And so that is probably easier for you to kick off. I bought my rental property before I bought my own house that I live in. And so when you're thinking about side hustles, you're thinking about business, rental property is that side hustle that is not going to even disturb you one minute because once you buy the house, you find the house, you get a tenant, that's it. You know, you can even take it a step further and get yourself a property manager to manage your house so that when it comes to even the maintenance, you don't even have to worry about it. And all of that will be catered for from the tenants you know, the income that they pay to you. So that's something that you want to think of. And so if you have, you know, a little money already saved up, that is something that you can start almost right away. And even if you don't have income saved up, that is something that you can start saving towards. I started to save towards the down payment once I realized that I wanted to buy myself a house. You know, and so every month I'll put money aside to be able to work towards, you know, a down payment for a house. And I knew what my budget was. So I was definitely looking for a house, you know, max a hundred thousand, a hundred and ten thousand. And I found one that was under a hundred thousand dollars. And so that worked perfectly well for me. So that is something that you definitely want to try out. And definitely that will start bringing you that extra income, whether it's even for you to pay your groceries or just something. It is better than zero. Okay. Yesterday I was watching a YouTube video and the lady was talking about how having one stream of income is as good as you have in zero. And when you think about it, like once that one goes, you're literally at zero. But imagine when you have two or more streams, if anything happens to one, you're down to two or you're down to one. So one is closer to zero and three is better, right? Or two is better. So that's how I want you to think about it. Now, the third idea when it comes to building another income stream is for you to help other people solve their problems. And when we think about other people, like one of the things that I concentrated on was helping other businesses similar to mine solve their business problem. I'm also into the short-term rental property. So I do long-term rental and I also do short-term rental. And so I launched a platform called shortlerrental.com and this platform actually helps other short-term renters like myself, you know, find a place where customers can go find their property. So this is very similar to Airbnb that we have in the United States. And I replicated that same concept in my country, Nigeria. And so I'm able to work with other rental property owners. They're able to come on my platform to display and advertise their property. And so I'm focused on marketing 
all of these properties to customers who were looking for short-term rentals. And so helping other people solve problem also brings in income for you because I get a commission for every time I get them a booking. And so it works really well. And for you, it might not necessarily be that type of platform. It could be another platform where you're very good at it and you're helping other people that have similar skill set as you also achieve their goals. That is something that you could consider. And one thing I've realized is that when you help other people achieve their goals, guess what? You will make money because you're basically helping people solve their problems. Now, another hustle that you can start easily in 2024, especially if you're like, you know, techie, and even if you're not, you could go learn it, is basically video editing. And I say video editing because in this time and age, there's so many content creators all over the place, and not a lot of people know how to edit. Not a lot of people have the time to head it. And so if you're that person who you have that flair for editing, you love videos, you love to watch videos, or you just have that passion, that is something you can start right away. And there are so many websites where you could go advertise your work. We have like Fiverr, we have so many Upwork, we have so many places that you could just go advertise your services and you're going to find probably somebody who is interested in working with you. I know how to edit quite all right, but I do not have the time to edit. So every time I'm always looking for to someone who can help me edit my videos because I don't have that time. And there are so many people like me, so many content creators who do not have the time to edit. And I bet many of them do not like to edit. And so they would always require the services of a video editor. Now, very closely related to this idea is also the idea of adverts. Now, if you can help businesses solve their advertisement problems, if you can help them solve their marketing problems, you are going to be rich. Because one of the one of the biggest problems we have as entrepreneurs is how to gain visibility, how to attract more customers, how to build our customer base. And everything falls into marketing, right? Branding, marketing, and whatnot. And so if you have a flair for marketing, if you have a flair for advertisement, if you have a flair for just helping brands and businesses gain visibility, you are in for a big check because you are literally saving and solving a big problem problem for business owners. I own multiple businesses. And one of the things I'm always looking forward to on a monthly basis is, okay, how do I build my customer base? How do we gain more visibility? How do we grow? And it ties down to marketing. If you understand something like Facebook ads and you know how to help organizations optimize and make the best use of their money, there is money right there because sometimes I feel like, oh my goodness, what am I doing? I'm spending this much money on a daily basis, on a weekly basis. I'm not getting results. And so for the people out there who then know how to help us better use our funds correctly, we are going to love you. So I'm just telling you right now, you know, the things that business owners love. And that's something that you can actually get your ideas from, right? What are the problems that business owners are facing? What skills that can I have so I can go offer that as a solution to a business need? Trust me, you are going to make money and you're going to be able to build that extra side hustle while you're still focused on your nine to five job. Because guess what? You have weekends where you're just, you know, while in a way watching movies, you know, browsing on the internet, you can always convert that time into building up yourself and prepping yourself for the side hustle that you're about to launch. So make sure that you don't sleep on any of these ideas because these ideas have been tried, they've been tested. The first three that I shared with you are ideas that I am currently using as a side hustle and video editing. I have a video editor and I'm sure that I'm probably going to have more in the future because Time is something that I keep searching for on a day-to-day -day basis. So I know that at some point in time, I will probably never touch my video to edit anymore. And I know that that is a skill set that has come to stay for the longest time. And solving business problems? Oh my goodness. I know that for certain because I know the problems that I face as you know, a business owner. And I know for sure that if I have people who can help me solve my problems, I will give them my money. So definitely, I want you to think about it from that perspective. You know, think about the business around you, what problems do you think that they have, and then how can you help them solve that problem? Now, the very last idea on my list, I know that a few people 
might be thinking about it. Okay, I'm shy of the camera. I don't like to talk. I don't like to do this. But trust me, nobody was born with this skill set. We all learned it. And right now, we are making money off of it. And that is for you to start a YouTube channel. Yes, I said so. Not because I own a YouTube channel, but because I know that there is money in this game. And I'm also wishing and praying for me to hit it big on YouTube. But I know for certain that there is money in this game. Now, I'm not saying that you should go into YouTube for immediate money because you're not going to get immediate money, right? But that is something that can actually build up a community for you. That is something that can act as a lead for the side hustles that you're about to start. And you don't need to have thousands of followers for you to be able to, you know, find people who love the things that you talk about, whether you're talking about your business or you're talking about an idea, it's quite easy for you to find people that will gravitate towards you. So even though you don't get thousands of views, you are going to get your customers because I got most of my customers when it came to, you know, teaching agile, buying my courses, you know, buying my coaching sessions. I got most of them on YouTube because they would watch my video. I'll talk about my service. They will send me an email and they'll sign up to any of my products. So I want to encourage you today. We are in the content space. If you are under 50, there is no reason why you should not be a friend of social media. There is no reason why you should not be on any social media space, even if it's one. You know, content is really king. And when you start getting used to content because there is money in content, there is money in media. And so I want to encourage you to get started. It's not that hard, you know. I know when I started, yes, it was kind of scary <laughs> to start, but I'm telling you from someone who's been on YouTube for the last four years, it's not that hard. And it helps build a community, it helps you build your personal brand, it helps you build, you know, a relationship and it helps you find your customers. So Figure out something you love to talk about. Just set your phone out there and start to talk about it. And we can always dive more into, you know, not making the same mistakes that I made and all of that. But I want you to think about starting up a YouTube channel. Spend time on YouTube and you begin to find out how much people actually make in the long term, right? I know that our goal is obviously to get a side hustle that starts to bring us immediate money. YouTube won't do that, but YouTube would help enhance any of the side hustles that you actually start, depending on the one that you want to talk about online, because that way people will get to know about that service or that product that you're offering. And if you feel like YouTube is too much of a headache, you can start from social medias like TikTok, Instagram, you know, even on your WhatsApp story, right? Just share the information about the things that you do, what you're teaching, what you love to share, whatever it is, just start sharing that. And any form of content is actually better than no content at all. All right, I hope these ideas are inspiring. I hope they actually kickstart you to start thinking of things that you can do that will bring you huge return on your investment. The goal is for us to build extra source of income so that we're not reliant on our nine to five. Many of us love to work and that is absolutely okay. But we know that what is not okay is relying on just one stream of income. And that's why we want to look for other avenues that we could make money. And I've shared five avenues that you can start making money today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to share with your friends. I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye!